everyone, I am doing an updated pantry tour today. I have done one before on my channel, but I actually like this setup so much better because it's great for space saving if you have a small pantry. So if that is your case, like mine, definitely stick around and see how I've organized this. So the best thing to do is to pull everything out and start from scratch. It can be very overwhelming looking at it like this, but that's the best method I find. And we've got my happy little helper on the floor there. So please like and subscribe if you like this video and content and follow me on Instagram as well. I really, really appreciate it. Another great tip that I learned from Ashley Marie is you can swap and remove shelves if you need to do that. I thankfully didn't have to do that, but that is an option. So now onto the tour. At the top, I always keep medicines away from the kids and I've got some food trays and ice cream cones and stuff like that. Then I've got a toaster, my mixer and a couple of pots and pans in the back. So this is a tub of Leo's Cerulac and behind that I've got some containers for my cookies and food storage, a snack box for the kids. And behind that I've got some cereal, pasta and oats. So this is the Lazy Susan. I am telling you, Ashley Marie was right. It really does save a ton of space and everything is just so much more accessible. So in this, I just have oil, ghee, pancake mix, salt, and maple syrup, stuff like that. So it's easy to find anything just by moving this around. You're not having to pull something to get something from the back of that. Then I've got some spices. Uh, I've got this spice rack for years now. I actually wish I could get another Lazy Susan and just put the spice racks on, sorry, the spices on that, but I'm working with this for now. Then I've got some self-raising flour, caster sugar and plain flour. And in this little box, I just have like opened stuff that we use all the time, like sultanas. These are little peanut balls for me to snack on and some macaroni and then my batch of lactation cookies and then I've got another Lazy Susan so this has all my other spices and tin foods and coffee descalers, chewies, things that I'm grabbing all the time. So you can see how easy this makes it and these containers, sorry, these Lazy Susans were only $7.50 each. They have one that's a bit more expensive that's more like in compartments but I actually just prefer this. So I've got peanut butter in here, pasta sauces, hazelnut spread. Then this is a shelf I like to keep accessible to the kids. So this is stuff that I don't mind them touching. So some biscuits. I use this muffin wrap container to store their spoons and forks in. I believe I can just grab it for himself. Then these huge storage tubs. So one of them I use to store little snack bags of chips. So this will be chips for Leo, Levi and myself. And in the other storage box is my baking storage box and it is not very uh, organized. I just tend to take stuff out and tuck it back in, but it works for me. I know what I've gotten there and it's just easy for me to grab. And at the very last shelf are some more pots and pans, my slow cooker, some mixing bowls, a frying pan and a cake pan. So that is my pantry tour. I hope it helps you guys, gives you some ideas of how to save some space. Those Lazy Susans, I'm telling you, really do work. I will link it in the description box if you want to get it for yourself. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.